Let's move on. Next up for us, 1 p.m. Eastern, Tennessee Titans 5 and 10, 1 and 6 on the road to Houston Texans 8 and 7, 5 and 3 at home, Energy Stadium in Houston, Texas. The main point of contention here is CJ Stroud uh, is expected to be available. The question then is do we expect Will Levis to start here? And the expectation is that yes. Um, Will Levis, you know, will start. So Will Levis, CJ Stroud is the expectation at this point on Tuesday, December 26th. So let's take a look at the line history here with Tennessee, Texas. We'll start with the spread from a spread perspective. We are sitting here with Houston as three and a half point favorites. They open up at four and a half point favorites. The move, the full point move happened this morning to three and a half. So I would assume that's when the information started going around that Will Levis would in fact be at quarterback. That's what I assume. Although, you know, in Houston, you might prefer to have Tannehill, even though the, the uh, ceiling is much lower. The bottom is much higher, but three and a half, here is the line. So we have a move uh, towards the Titans from a total standpoint here. We are sitting with a 42 and a half. Uh, this is exactly where it opened and it opened uh, back on Thursday. So we have no movement since Thursday. Uh, cash wise, you have 59% of the tickets and 86% of cash on the Texans, which tells you probably that that move was just based on personnel the four and a half to three and a half on the models with Levis at quarterback rather than Tannehill at quarterback. And we have no information on the total. So here we go. The Titans coming off of 2017 home loss to the Seahawks. They've lost at least 10 games for a second straight season for the first time since 2014, 15. I don't know if Rabel coaches this team next year. But I like him. I would use him but I don't know if he is. Tannehill was 18 and 26 for 152 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. A Conquo caught six passes for 88 yards and a touchdown. That touchdown pass was thrown by Derrick Henry. Henry also ran 19 times for 88 yards and a touchdown and threw the 12 yard to a Conquo. The Titans were six of 12 on third down. They're 28th in the league on third down, converting 33.9% third downs. They're two of three in the red zone. They're the third worst red zone offense in the league. That's uh, scoring touchdowns on just 45.5% of red zone trips. Pass rush, three sacks, four quarterback hits. Seahawks were 7 of 13 on third down. Titans defense is 14th in the league. Third down defense, 13th or 14th in the league. Uh, Seahawks were 2 of 4 in the red zone. They've been excellent, the Titans, in the red zone all year. Third best red zone defense in the league. Line points to score just 38.3% of red zone drives. But the elephant in the room is all of the players who aren't playing for Tennessee. They played that last game without seven starters, five on defense. And Jeffrey Simmons and, and Amani Hooker are the big ones, uh, you know, and um, they're done for the year. They were both placed on injured reserve Saturday. So, you know, Levis will be back, but there were more injuries in that game. Uh, you know, uh, Daniel Brunskill is not there on the offense line. I mean, it's just there's so many people they're missing. They also lost Jalen Duncan. He hurt his wrist. In the, another left tackle. I mean, it's just it's just a li- long, long list of players who aren't there for the Titans. And the Texans have to win this game. They're coming off an ugly 36-22 loss at home to the Browns. Uh, Keenum looked terrible, 11-17 for 62 yards, two interceptions. Uh, so he was placed by Davis Mills, who looked, I mean, like Davis Mills. Did throw two touchdown passes, but 15-32 for 149 yards. Stroud will be there this weekend. Uh, Dalton Schultz led receivers with eight catches for 61 yards. Devin Singletary ran nine times for 44 yards. The Texans were just five of 15 on third down, but they were two of two in the red zone when Davis Mills took over. Uh, The Browns won the game through the air. I mean, the Browns averaged 8.1 yards per pass against the Texans. The defense looked horrible. Uh, They played without Will Anderson and Blake Cashman. Neither has returned to practice. Those are huge pieces to their defense. I mean, you, you might even say Blake Cash is more important than Will Anderson. I mean, the way D'Amico Ryans talks about Blake, he says, he, you know, they're huge, huge losses. Uh, this this secondary allowed Amari Cooper to make 11 catches for 265 yards. They couldn't get enough pressure on Flacco. One sack, eight quarterback hits. Then they lose Jonathan Greener to ankle injury in the first half. Uh, Jimmy Ward le- leaves the game. Uh, he's listed as questionable. 
you know, they need him out there. They he's been the beat up all season. Or he's on and off. Like, he's oh, on yeah. And off. He, he started the season hurt. You're right. Yeah. He's, uh, they allowed the Browns to go 6 of 16 on third down. They're 19th league defensively on third down. They allowed Cleveland to go 4 of 6 in the red zone. They, they're just a mediocre defense, unfortunately, for D'Amico. Uh, you know, Stingley had a pick. He's, you know, has a high upside. And DeAndre Houston Carson had a pick. Take it away for us here. Uh, you know, generally speaking, I would think this is a slam dunk spot for the Texans to get right with CJ. Do you feel that way? I wanted to find a way to be on the Texans, but it's just hard to. And the two guys you mentioned, Will Anderson and Blake Cashman, those two guys are monumental for this defense, in my opinion. Obviously, Strzok coming back is going to be a massive boost. He's going to be back this week, but this team's vulnerabilities are starting to show through. And the track record, the wins that they do have on their resume are not looking as good as they once did. This Titans team, obviously a one-trick pony. They have no other option. They have a bad line. They're yeah, not even mediocre at quarterback. They'd be giving them a, for too much credit, in my opinion. What do you do against the Titans team? You cut the head off the snake, which is the running game. I think they'll be able to do that. Um, I was going to start looking towards the under in this game, and I'm hoping that I see a tick. And unusually, I'd like to see a tick up in this spot, but I haven't seen it yet. I really have no play in this game. I don't want to be involved. I think I can make a case for both sides. And in that case, I just don't feel like I have an edge. I mean, uh, should we not just look beyond? Should we just say the market has moved a point based solely on personnel? Yes, I would agree. It's the, the, well, we'll see what the pinnacle line does, but even, it, you know, because all the line movement I talk about, some of that is is personnel related. I don't quantify that necessarily, but I agree with you. Pinnacle has this at four. That's what they've opened it up at. 365 has this at three and a half. I think that that the Texans must be bet immediately. I do. I think that this is just a buy low spot on the Texans. The Titans have given up. Now the Titans will play hard for you at home. That's why we moved on them plus three last week and got the push. They're going to fight for Vrabel, but how many pieces are they missing? So yes, we are sitting here expecting CJ Stroud to be back. I think we can bank on that. Yeah. Uh, I think the Texans should be bet immediately. Those three and a halfs are going to be gone. This will close at four and a half. Sounds right. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to bet the Texans tonight. All right. Uh, let's move on. And and look, obviously the secondary looked horrific last week. And D'Amico Ryans is going to get the best out of them this week. And can Will Levis on the road hurt no. them? That's the thing. Like I can't see the Titans scoring points. I cannot see the Titans scoring points. Even despite all the injuries that you'll see on the Texans defense, D'Amico will know to cut the head off the snake. So I get it. I get it. I I need to spend more time with this game. Not seeing the opener at Pinnacle kept me off even really diving into this game too much. So 